Hello, hello. Hi, my dear friends. I'm calling from Germany, from Munich, from my apartment. And I decided to go live because as I was enjoying this beautiful day, I said, you know, life is good and I feel calm. But then I remember there are people who are scared, who have fears. Maybe you have some decisions that you need to make. Maybe you have some challenges. And I decided to uh, help you to overcome fears. Thank you, everyone who are joining. I will try to be focused because I have today good content to share and to be as short as possible. So look at this. How can you overcome fear? Okay, we all have fears and we all know that, you know, it's just a matter of how big this fear is and how we will uh, overcome it. But there is one thing that maybe you didn't know. Okay, my name is Sylvia Popovich for the one who's coming first time. I'm a mindset and a business strategist and I'm coming from the educational background. And as I was studying psychology, what my uh, professor said really shocked me and it's connected with fear. She said uh, that we are all born only with two fears. Only with two fears. Can you believe that? So if you're only born with two fears, that means all other fears hmm, we pick up later. So what are the two fears that we are born with? The first fear that we are born with is fear of falling down. That means of losing the ground, you know, like, like we're gonna, uh, like we're jumping. The, that's why most of the people have this fear of height of losing the ground. And the second fear is fear of noise, of, of loud noise. So look at this. As a baby, as a beautiful, perfect human being that we are born, we have only those two fears. And what happens later is we pick up the fears that our parents, our friends, society is pushing in us. And we accept those limiting beliefs, those fears as our own. So it's no wonder that if a mom is scared of the spiders, that the children will also be scared of the spiders. So first thing, when you want to overcome fear, ask yourself, where is the root of this fear? Where did it start? Did it start by your mom saying limiting beliefs? Did it start, no judging mom, big highs to all mom, including mine. But is, did it start with your parents? Or did it start maybe with your best friend who or he or she was afraid of something? So first step to overcome the fear is detect where did it start and how did it start. Hi, Arman. Hi, everyone. Okay. Second thing is, when you detect, when you face, when you confront this, okay, this is where it started, then ask yourself, okay, what is the worst case scenario that can happen if you go for it? What is the worst case scenario if that fear comes true? What will happen? Let's say, for example, that you want to start your own company. For the one who's working for the other people, you want to start your own company. Hi, Rita. Hi, everyone. Glad that you're here. Share this video, like it, so that everyone can overcome their fear. Okay. Let's say, for example, you want to start your own company and you know, okay, there will be a financial investment. You will need to change a lot of things in your life. Ask yourself, what if you don't succeed? How would your life look like then? Okay, probably you'll be in a difficult financial situation. And then what would happen then? Then you would probably need to ask help from the other people. Okay, you would need to call other people. And then what? And then what? And then what? No one on this planet, even if the worst case scenario happened, from my perspective, what would be the worst case scenario if I'm starting my company again? That would be, okay, so I invested money, I didn't made it, I didn't pay the bills, I end up on the street, and then I would become homeless. And if I would become homeless and I would have this mind, I would go to a shelter and ask for food, I would get some money, I would start, start all, all over again. And why I chose this example is exactly that. The fear of me starting my own company, I have several now, but starting my own company was literally that, oh my God, what will happen if I don't made it? And when I came to the point to see that there, there is always solution, there will always be, always be people who would help me, that fear 
become smaller and smaller. Okay, so that is the, the second thing. The third thing that I want to encourage you how to overcome fear, one of the things that helped me is that you literally go directly to that fear. You know, it's like boxing. When I was doing kickboxing and karate, it's like you need to be focused and when you know that fear, bam, you just go in it, directly in it. Let me tell you one story. Uh, when I was, a, I think I was a, like a teenager, and as I'm coming from the small city um, and where this beautiful river and you can walk at night, really romantic. And thank you, for Melissa, for your comment. Um, yeah, so it was like really beautiful uh, part of my hometown city in Croatia. Uh, one day I came and I asked my dad, who's like really bold and strong person, and I said, you know, dad, what are you afraid of? Like, what are your fears? And he said, you know, it sounds crazy, but I'm, I'm not afraid of anything. And I said, that's not possible. Everyone are afraid. He said, yes, we all are. But I learned how to manage the fear. And I said, how come? And he changed the conversation. So he asked me, he said, my daughter, what are you afraid of? And in that point of my life, I, I, had, a, I had a person who, who tried to, you know, who tried to rape me, attack me. And that was in the dark street. So I said, you know, Dad, I'm afraid of, of dark. I'm afraid of dark. And he said, when you're afraid of something, go directly into it. Especially when there's a dark, not just in the street, in a life. Because there's a darkness, you can also hide yourself. You can calm your breathing and your eyes will adapt to situations so you will be also able to observe, to act and to attack and to defend yourself. Bam! And look at that, that situation, when it's dark in your life, when you're full of fear, remember, if you go directly to it, the people will come, situations will change. You have all the power that you need right now inside of yourself because you are part of God and there's no way that if you're aware of that, it's no way that you fail, okay? So look at this. With that said, I would lead you to the last step. I don't know how about you. I respect every religion. I'm a spiritual person and I want to encourage you. If you want to overcome your fear, connect with the source, connect with the God, universe, however you want to call it. Connect with that and ask for protection. I always say, God, I know that you're with me, but please, you know, help me. Help me to give this power. Help me to help other people. Help me to overcome this fear. And you will see when you ask, you receive. The last thing that I want to tell you today is to overcome fear. You cannot do it by yourself, okay? Uh, most of the times, the fear is the strongest, is the big dragon that is attacking you when you are alone, when you're at home or where you are in a traffic or in your car or in the bed, when you are not communicating with other people. The moment when you start communicating, telling other people what are you afraid of, you are taking the power from that fear and you are the one who has the power over that fear. So you are manipulating. You are the champion of that life. You are that uh, McConnor in that ring. So this is what I want to tell you. Communicate your fear. Be willing to be vulnerable. Be willing to say, yes, I'm scared. And for all my beautiful people, for all my beautiful clients and you friends who joined me today, it doesn't matter what are you afraid of. Communicate that. Say that to someone that you trust, someone who will motivate you, someone who will say, hey, thank you for sharing that. That's a huge thing. That was a hard thing to say. So be willing to be vulnerable, to be open-hearted. And no matter what other people say that it's impossible, just trust that you can achieve things that maybe you didn't ever saw, but you have that idea. You can achieve that because it's in you all the power in the world. And as I said in my last video, from my perspective, there's only two things in this world. There's love and there's fear. Fear will never disappear. Feel, fear will always be there. But put your attention on love and love yourself enough 
to face your fears, to take power over that fear and say, hey fear, I see you, I feel you, but I'm in charge here. <laughs> With that said, I'm just going to say, I'm just going to see who is here, uh, who is here, who join us. Uh, let me see. I see Melissa, Rita, Armand. Thank you, my dear friends, for joining me. Uh, thank you for listening to this. If you are inspired, if, if this helped you just a little bit, click a like, write a comment, share it. I love to see you. I love that we are all together overcoming the fears. And if you have anything that you would like to add, just put it in the comment. Love you. Fear not. Be bold. Be brave. You can have the life, relationships, everything that you deserve because you are born to be great and you are important to this world. Love you guys and speak to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>